Hello everyone, I'm Amal Central and welcome to Arundel Gate on Sheffield. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, it's a weekday in January. It's not actually that cold to be fair, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. And we're heading over to Sheffield Interchange to take a ride on hopefully two, hopefully, and two very unique vehicles that actually arrived last year um, into operations in the city and in South Yorkshire. They're both owned by Powell's, they're both Scania's, and they're both bodied um, by Optair with the Olympus bodywork. So yes, we're going on the two Olympus bodied Scania's today and that have been lurking around South Yorkshire with Powell's. They arrived randomly um, one week and have been there since. So they're both allocated to the A1 service today. So we're gonna go and take a little trip on them. We're gonna talk about the history of the vehicles. We're gonna compare the two as well um, to see how they both perform. And obviously one might be better than the other. And we're going to have a lovely trip, hopefully up to Meadow Hall and back. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all when we get to the interchange. Y-N-O-8-H-Y-W This vehicle now registered P3WTL and originally came from Reading buses as you can see by the seats and these Olympuses, these Scania Olympuses do sometimes have weird back seats and it's quite one of those weird ones where they use individual seats on the back row instead of one solid back row and so it is quite an odd one It has continued to carry its cher cherished registration plate and from its last operator I believe that was Wheelers I'll update and do all the information at the end of this video, including its old red and, and buses fleet number and all of that lot. But for now we are in Waverley, just being passed by Streetlight on the 74. We're now in Waverley, um, waiting out a little bit of time after coming off the parkway um, to make our way around to Meadow Hall. Hopefully, um, thanks to bustimes.org and now having Powell's on the timings, we do now know roughly the allocations and roughly the diagrams on the A1 service. The A1 operating hourly, between Sheffield and Meadowhall via Waverley here. It's very much a sort of an industrial bus service. So it goes for like industrial works. Currently the manufacturing, advanced manufacturing works are just there um, for Waverley, um, including Rolls-Royce and companies like that. So it is very much a staff service. However, it is an open public route as it goes through a few minor housing estates and things as it makes its way around to Meadowhall. So the route is hourly, however into works with schools, so this bus is into working with schools today, and then also has a few other vehicles covering, um, so you can get a, a hefty variety of, bus, of buses on this route. I'll link in the bustimes.org um, sort of diagram the um, allocations for this and the service, so you can check out the allocations yourself if you want to trace a sp specific vehicle on a certain day. For now though, I'll show you a few more views as we make our way up to Meadowhall. Hopefully, um, when we get to Meadowhall, this bus goes on its break, and we should get the other one, all being well, according to the previous allocations, we should get the other one back into Sheffield at half eleven. So I'll show you a few more views, and I'll see you all when we get to Meadowhall.
Thank you. So here we are in Meadow Hall and P6 is just over there and now leaving is P3. So the two sister vehicles passing one another there. So we're at Meadow Hall again and do you want me to start the list of videos that I have recorded around this area that's ended up in Meadow Hall? Um, I mean we've got the um, subscriber special race, we are doing some more races very soon. We've got when they had the new transfer with the B7 Avalese from York, um, we took one of them on the X1. Um, we've then taken the um, newly refurbished B9, um, B9 Gemini for the X78 um, up here as well. So it is, it is quite a common place to interchange. Hopefully by this point a lot of you will have gathered that there's a lot of different routes that you can um, catch and interconnect and interchange with um, around Meadow Hall. Um, it, like, it is in these um, Sheffield citywide areas, so all of these routes I do are with the city ride ticket or a student single ticket um, and you can travel um, sort of on Monday to Friday when the A1 runs, you can travel on these vehicles, um, you've got the x 78 you've got the X1s, you've got the 95s with the massive hill just further down that road there, um, all sorts of different vehicles. A lot of people think that Sheffield vehicles have got a bit boring now and obviously we do have a lot of street lights and a lot of V9TLs with first group but if you do have a look and you have a nosy around you will tend to find that there's still quite a few interesting gems hopefully as I'm um, expressing in these videos that I do. So we've got about 20-25 minutes to wait. Our bus is already in so definitely know it's P6 as I've just got a lovely photo of them passing that you will have seen hopefully as the thumbnail for this video um, as I got both of them in the same shot that was quite nice. Um, so we'll wander into the stand in about five minutes um, or so to wait for our bus back round to Sheffield on the A1 service. And our bus back to Sheffield is P6WTL. 29.13. So this one, a very, very similar style um, to the other one in the way of how the seating is laid out. This has since had a seat refurbishment. We'll go upstairs in a bit as this one does have some different seats upstairs. But for now it does have the same Reading Buses branding. Um, on the side that the other one did um, and there's also some sort of peeled off finals there again this one carrying a sister um, private or cherished registration plate to the other example So I've just gone upstairs now and as you can see the seats up here are of a different sort of moulding and they're more like what you would recognise as first group um, primarily on their ALX 400s and that generation of vehicles but these ones aren't first group, these ones have been sourced from elsewhere as you can tell the colours are a little bit different. This entire bus had an entire seat refurbishment unlike the other one that's still got its red in buses seat. So this one when it was with the operator that it was with before, Powell CT Plus must have had the, all the works done, um, especially on the upper deck here with a load of new seats added. You can see where the old next stop announcement board used to be between these two um, sort of poles there. So the next stop announcement board from when it was at Reading used to be there. And then if you do turn to the front you can see the lovely big Olympus window. Something that makes this Optair product iconic is how much of a, how much of a decent view you get from the front window. 
Um, it is absolutely huge and it is one of the main reasons I do absolutely love the Olympus buses. The lights as well, all the style, that are nice. So what we're going to do is I'll show a few more views as we go into Sheffield. It's just about to pass the tram depot and I'll see you when we get there. Thank you. Yeah. So here we are now back in Sheffield Interchange and that was P6WTL. So that's now going back over to Meadow Hall and I will pass you over into the office for a little bit of a video sum up and um, a bit more details on the two vehicles that went on today and anything I missed out. So to sum up this video, both vehicles are Scania N230UD. Um, chassis vehicles bodied um, by Opta with the Olympus bodywork. Both vehicles were new to Reading buses um, for the 33 route carrying a blue and white sort of branding and for the 33 service. The one that now carries P3 WTL as a registration plate used to be registered Y08HYW and used to be numbered 859 in the Reading buses fleet. This now carries the fleet number at Powell's of 2912. Sister vehicle P6WTL and um, previously carried the registration plate Y08HYT used to be numbered 857 with Reading buses and now carries the fleet number 2913. Both vehicles um, got their current Cherish registration plates um, when they were previously with Wheelers Connect whom Powell's and CT Plus purchased the um, vehicles from. Wheelers, Wheelers Connect used to be a company um, based down in the Southampton area, and they've operated Tridents and things like that. And these two Scanias did carry different Cherish registration plates before being given these ones, with P6WTL um, used to be carried on one of their old T-Reg um, Dennis Trident ALX 400s um, before it was given to the Olympus and then the vehicle was sold on. So both vehicles have had quite an interesting life, predominantly in the south of England, and only moved up very, very recently. And on the day of recording, we're both operating the A1 service, that's why I thought I'd go out, as I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind the riding them both, and I thought they would connect in quite nicely. The connection um, was possible, and thanks to research, it's now possible by BusTimes.org, a CT plus um, HTT group in Yorkshire is now fully trackable on BusTimes.org. I will link in their timetables and duties and things um, on the Bus Times app, on the Bus Times website. I'll link in the company in the description below if you do want to have a little hunt down for some of their vehicles yourself. So the route itself, the A1, as you could see, was very much like an industrial, um, sort of industrial link bus service, going through all the different industrial estates, Waverley and places like that, and linking workers to and fro work. During the daytime, it runs all the way from Sheffield, Waverley to Meadowhall, and then on a peak morning and peak evening, it runs and runs hourly throughout the day. It runs half hourly during peak morning and peak evenings, um, only between Meadowhall and Waverley, with the service only operating Monday to Friday. The route itself does have a bit of history. It used to be operated by Veolia, um, who used to put E200s on it, and it used to go all the way to Rotherham, and so it has changed a lot since then. But it's still worth a little trip on. It's in, it's within the Sheffield border, so your city um, wides and all of that lot are valid. Um, and it is quite a nice route, and the vehicles were nice and sounded interesting. So I do recommend going for riding them if you can.
If you did enjoy this video, do be sure to hit that like button so the more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. And if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. For more content like this from the real life boss industry, do be sure to subscribe to the Andamal Central YouTube channel and support us. So again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.